Welcome to the series on advanced aircraft turbine modeling, where we will use multidisciplinary analysis and optimization techniques to adapt a generic turbofan model to our own specific case. And we're going to create a powerful engine deck with that. Let's dive right in! 3, 2, 1, top 3, 2, 1, half, the flight test engineering channel. Welcome back to the channel. In the previous series, we looked at modeling a turbojet engine directly in Python, writing the thermodynamic equations for each component. In this series, we'll jump ahead and instead of coding the equations ourselves, we'll build on a much more complete framework made available by NASA, which will allow us to tailor a generic model to our specific engine. This will yield much better results than we had before, hopefully within 3% range, which is still pretty good. As you are aware, gas turbines are extremely complicated piece of machinery and completely non-linear and the effort necessary to obtain a sub 1% accurate model is very expensive. Our mod will hopefully stay within the 3% range, which as I said is very good. So what's the strategy here? If we were to refine our previous model from first principles, we would need to have many physical parameters defined for the engine hardware inlet and nozzle areas, combustion temperature, inlet and nozzle specific efficiencies, and of course, the compressor and turbine maps that will provide the turbine machinery efficiency depending on flow states like pressure, temperature, and density. But in real life, we never have all this data available. This is something only the OEMs would have, and it's always a well-kept secret. So what do we do? We could disassemble an engine and get half of what we need, but you see, that gets expensive very quickly. Another approach could be make educated guesses for the values. Then we would need to calculate the thermodynamic cycle and check key performance numbers against the real deal. For example, thrust at sea level and maybe a few other conditions. That's if you have the numbers as well. Then if the results do not match, you need to tweak your guesses. And again, in a very educated way, run the math again, compare, tweak again, etc., etc. And if you imagine that in this process, you also have to guess the compressor and turbine maps as well. It is very easy to see that this is a next to impossible and very likely to get divergence results that will drive you crazy and frustrated. But this is exactly what we'll do. And thankfully, the world has a few magicians that I would like to acknowledge and give my kudos to. The folks behind PyCycle and on an even higher level behind OpenMDAO. Please check them out and support them. The links are in the description. Let's jump to the desktop now and have a look. These are amazing pieces of software that do nothing short of magic. Here's a description from the OpenMDAO site. OpenMDAO is an open source high performance computing platform for systems analysis and multidisciplinary optimization written in Python, of course. It enables you to decompose your models, making them easier to build and maintain while still solving them in a tightly coupled manner with efficient parallel numerical methods. Like I said, magic. It will run multidisciplinary optimization on our model and do all of the legwork of finding the optimal parameters for a given operating point. So all we need to do is code our own model of the engine, put in all the equations, restrictions, etc. That's easy, right? Well, not so much, as we have seen in our simple turbojet engine series. This would require quite some effort. But wait, there's more. These folks are so amazing that they already coded a few engines for us. Enter PyCycle. This is a thermodynamic cycle modeling library designed primarily to model jet engine performance. It is built on top of the OpenMDAO framework and the design is heavily inspired by NASA's NPSS software. That is great. So, with PyCycle, we can define which components or modules our engine has, fan, compressor, gearbox, etc. Set the restrictions, maximum combustor temperature, maximum pressure ratio, etc. And let the framework do its thing. So, we're going to set the design point we want our turbine to be optimized for. And their code finds a set of physical parameters that will match those conditions all while maintaining the integrity in the mass and energy balance for the whole machine. It is crazy. Now, I also would like to recognize that in this video series, we will not use OpenMDAO and PyCycle as they were in originally intended to. 
OpenMDAO's goal is to explore large design spaces and find your optimal overall design for the complete vehicle system, which includes the engine, aircraft configuration, aerodynamics, structures, etc. We are interested in the engine only, so we will use PyCycle to find a design that meets the performance of our particular engine. And with this, create a deck that we can then use to help us in flight test planning. So, which engine are we going to pick? I picked the CF-34-10E, which is a fairly known commercial aircraft engine model. It is not cutting edge and it has some data available. Not everything we would like, but uh, we will make do with what we have. This engine powers the first generation of Embraer E190-195. And as I said, not cutting edge, but it is still a fairly complex engine, as we'll see later. And last before we start, I'd like to say that it is not my intention to do an OpenMDAO PyCycle tutorial here, because that would take many episodes and I do not feel like it and I'm not knowledgeable enough to do that. If that is what you're looking for, I will link the series called Practical MDAO in the description, where they go deep in explaining how to use the framework with examples and all. Pretty good series and I highly recommend you subscribe to their channel which will be also linked below. There is also a nice demo of PyCycle on YouTube and a paper that explains much more in depth a very complex gear turbofan example. In this series, we'll look at the basics of PyCycle, look at the engine we are trying to model, set the design and off-design points, run PyCycle and produce tons of data and then create our engine deck API that will return engine data when given the flight conditions. We start on the next episode looking at the engine. I'll see you there!